Welcome back to Fresh to Death Comics. This is the 31 Days of Horror Edition. My name is Hans. I'm B. Luke. How's it going, buddy? It's going fantastic. Good. Day two has just commenced. We watched your second movie. Yeah, we, we got in just after midnight, so we decided to get the ball rolling, and we watched Would You Rather. It's available on Netflix now, if you're curious. Uh, it's fantastic. I loved it. I mean, it was pretty good. I actually liked it a lot more than The Visit. Like, I was on the edge of my seat. Which got what me. are you going to pick? What's going on? Which got me, because I really liked The Visit. I mean, I thought would you The Visit would be a lot better than Would You Rather. I, man, I don't know. I enjoyed it a lot. That was because the cast was a lot familiar yeah, to you? Yeah, dude. So we had... I didn't, I didn't know what was going on going into the film, but we had the dad from Home Alone. We had Crab Man from My Name is Earl. We had Bob from The Walking Dead. And we had the penguin from Gotham. It was super exciting was just like to see all this stars. cast. B-list stars? I say so. Uh, I don't I don't know, man, but it was exciting to see this cast together. No, I mean just those cast members together, like all the things you like about My Name is Earl and Gotham and Home Alone all together in one movie. This wait, is it. Wait, so the only thing you liked about My Name is Earl was Crap Man? He's one of the best parts. Alright, alright, that, that's fine. But Crab Man was cool, alright? But it was sad to see him, you know, go. I think he was the second one, right? He was the second one to go? Third one to go, third maybe? One to go, third one to go. Anyway. Spoiler so, alert. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Got ahead of myself. <laughs> but but the movie overall, it was, it, was a, it was really good. A lot better than The Visit. It, it was. It was a lot of fun. I, I would recommend it. Uh, definitely late at night makes it a lot more scary than watching it during the day. So. Well, I wouldn't say it was scarier, more suspenseful. More suspenseful, yeah. Yeah. It is a difference between watching a movie in the daytime versus the nighttime. I just really wanted to know what happened. The, the end was kind of predictable after a while. Was you, it? you knew what was going to happen with Iris. Like, they, they showcased her in the beginning as the sort of main character. So you knew she was going to survive at the end. But there's a twist. And but you, then with you her totally, brother. Yeah, you totally you, didn't get the twist. You kind of got it after a while. they led up to it. And then yeah, you're like, yeah, oh, yeah. there it is. So yeah. you, it was good, though. So overall, uh, I think it was a good pick. So All right. So uh, tomorrow we'll be watching... A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. At night. Yep. That would be scary. So uh, t check us out tomorrow, and we will see you later. Deuces.